Let's take a look at question number two now of the DS section of the 2015 official guide. Here we see a logic known as 2x2. Two 2x2 by two. Two by two looks like this. You set up a table that looks like a hashtag, hashtag. And on the left we have 2 and on the top we have 2, which is why it's called 2x2. Two two. On the top we can put women and man as variables. And on the left we can say with red hair and without red hair as variables. Now put these two guys together and we have a total of A, B, C, D, four variables. So in this question we have women with red hair, men with red hair, women without red hair, and men without red hair. So we need a total of four equations to solve for the four variables. But how many are we given? We're only given one equation by condition one. And we're also only given one equation by condition two, so the probability that our answer is E increases. Well, let's verify that by taking a look at the two conditions at the same time. So within our table, the question is asking for what A is, because that's women with red hair. Uh, writing condition one as an equation, that's total number of women, A plus C, and then out of that, how many are women red hat hair, A? That's equal to 5%, which is the same as 0 0.05. The total number of men now in condition 2 is B plus D, and the number with red hair is B, and this is supposed to equal to 0 0.1. And the two equations here are not enough, and E is indeed our answer. Again, this type of approach in solving a problem is called the variable approach method.